It is with a humble and beaming heart that I introduce the next recipient of the Outstanding Youth Volunteer Award. And that, of course, is because it is my very own daughter, Isabella Coffey. Isabella is an award-winning public speaker who has been sharing our family's story for more than half of a lifetime. Watching her speak for the first time at the age of six to almost a thousand students and faculty at a local high school was only the beginning to what has been the most inspiring eight years of my life. Isabella, like McKenna and Andy, only in their early teens, have already changed the lives of so many people. Her ability to help get our Ottawa committee through this year's virtual walk with her social media creativeness and awareness was an essential part of keeping our community aware that we are always here for them. Izzy, I love you endlessly, my beautiful girl. Thank you for your continued drive, compassion, and relentless hope in finding a way to help end brain tumors. Here's what Isabella had to say. I want to start by saying it's an incredible honor to receive the first annual Outstanding Youth Volunteer Award, and I hope it inspires other young Canadians to become a part of our community. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Isabella Coffey. I'm 14 years old from our beautiful nation's capital, the city of Ottawa. I started my adventure with the foundation half a lifetime ago, and it's been a big part of our family ever since. My dad was diagnosed with a brain tumor when I was three, and my brother Simon was one. After my dad's brain surgery to remove the tumor, which led to a stroke, followed by 37 rounds of radiation treatment, I knew life wasn't going to be the same for our family. During his speech and physical therapy, our family was introduced to the Brain Tumor Foundation. It was so nice to become a part of a community where everyone understands each other and where people were brought together. I will always remember my first walk where my dad was just giving a speech as a survivor. But before the day ended, we knew we wanted to be a bigger part of this amazing event. Over the last number of years, it's been amazing to watch this event grow, both in attendance and funds raised. We are so lucky to live in a town where so many people are willing to give back to the BTF community, which leads me to some very special thank yous. I'd like to start by thanking the members of our local community. Shannon and Ben have been a part of this walk for almost a decade now. It's thanks to Ben's warm-up routine on the morning of the walk that kept us coming back. Ben and Shannon lead a very busy life with three boys, but still find a way to encourage me to do more. With the addition of Diane, June, and Kelsey, it feels like we truly have an all-star team here in Ottawa. Just as importantly, I want to express some very special thank yous to the Brain Tumor Foundation. We have been blessed over the years with inspiring leadership from inc some incredible role models. From Susan Peddle in my first year to Ness, our current BTF representative, I have been led by true leaders and mentors. Having been a part of the National Conference the last couple of years, I have been made to feel like a real family member of the Foundation. Susan Marshall, your ability to make everyone feel welcome and honored into the BTF community is a level of leadership I hope to one day accomplish. At the young age of 14, I can't imagine where this will take me in life. I truly hope it leads me to be able to help families as yours has helped mine. Because it's people like you who save lives like my daddy's. It's truly an honor to receive this award. I cannot express this enough. Thank you.